Here's my browser window. When I browse the ASMX file that I created in the first part of the tutorial, service.asmx, it will actually show this great um, little window that's automatically created for you. It says review the service description. If you go there, it's going to show you the WIDSL that it automatically, this is auto-generated WIDSL, um, for the service. So you can see that it's got the schema, it's elements get quote, it's a complex type. The response is a get quote, it returns a string. It's got soap in and soap out. It's got the soap ac action, literal, etc. So this is all part of the web service definition. If I go back, then if you go to the method, this is the one method in my service, you can invoke it and I can test it using the invoke button. And I invoked it, it doesn't require anything to be passed to it. And so it's just returning a string and it returned the string, let's look at the record. If I refresh this, reload this, and resend it, it returns a different string. So every time I call it, I should get a different string that the program is returning to me. Then if I was a real web designer, I could put these very lovely quotes and embed them in my website because, you know, I couldn't create the quotes for myself. So that's just an example of the testing of the web service using the tool, um, the service tool that is just built into the service. Um, so once I've done that, then I'm going to need to create a program of my own to display the quote. So I'm going to show that to you next.